Hi guys, it is a lovely, chilly fall evening here in the end times in the Santa Cruz Mountains in California here on, going on midnight on Tuesday night, September 16, 2015. I have just finished two rants wearing out the batteries of my bullshit detector button, but I can put that up put the bullshit detector button away and get right to this sweet, short, sweet little rant directly from the mainstream media, in this case the French News Service, talking about my old buddies at World Wildlife Fund. I've had many rants about World Wildlife Fund. Not, not always my favorite, but cheering on the World Wildlife Fund with their newest report Global marine populations slashed by half since 1970. There you go. This is the World Wildlife Fund's newest Living Blue Planet report, which I guess should be called the Dying Blue Planet report. Coming out their latest figures, populations of marine mammals, birds, reptiles, marine reptiles, I guess that would be turtles and snakes, and fish have dropped by about one half, one half in the past four decades. One half in the past for decades, with fish critical to human food suffering some of the greatest declines, World Wildlife Fund warned on today. In its new report, the conservation group cautioned that overfishing, pollution, and climate change had significantly shrunk the size of commercial fish stocks between 1970 and 2010 and the dying Blue Planet report indicated that species essential to the global food supply, meaning the human food supply, were among the hardest hit. And one family of fish from that group, that includes tuna and, and mackerel, had, for instance, declined 74% during the 40-year period. And you ask why your old eco-Nazi does not eat seafood. Hmm. Quote, uh, this is Marco Lombertini, uh, chief cook and bottle washer of uh, World Wildlife Fund International. Quote, in the space of one single generation, that would be my generation and if you were alive between 1970 and 1940, that would be your generation. In the space of one single generation, human activity has severely damaged the ocean by catching fish faster than they can reproduce while also destroying their nurseries, overfishing, destruction of marine habitats, and climate change have dire consequences for the entire human population as well, with the poorest communities that rely on the sea getting hit fastest and hardest, profound changes are needed to ensure abundant ocean 
life for future generations. He insisted, those old fish huggers, those old insistent fish huggers talking about profound changes such as, oh, I don't know, why don't you stop eating seafood? So, but fish are not the only marine species that are suffering out there. The report also shows that there has been a steep decline in coral reefs, mangroves, and seed grasses that support fish species with more than one-third of fish tracked for the study relying on coral reefs and some 850 million people around the world relying on them for their livelihoods. A previous report from the group showed that one half of all corals on the planet have already vanished and they are all expected to be gone by 2050 if temperatures continue to rise at the same rate. And of course what we're seeing is that the temperatures in the oceans are rising at the fastest rate this year in history. I was just saying that Hawaii is experiencing the single biggest coral bleaching in history this year. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so they, they tracked, the study actually tracked 5,829 populations of 1,000 234 species, nearly twice as many in past studies, giving, quote, a clearer, more troubling picture of ocean health. There is one in four species of sharks and rays is now facing extinction, largely due to overfishing. Yep, yep, yep. World Wildlife Fund. When I said I was going to put away the bullshit detector button. World Wildlife Fund called on global leaders to ensure that ocean recovery and coastal habitat health fig and coastal habitat health, of course, these coasts going underwater, figure high on the list of priorities when the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for the next 15 years are formally approved later this month. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Uh, I'll be having a lot more rants about this. Uh, we must take, this is this Lombertini guy, uh, we must take this opportunity to support the ocean and reverse the damage while we still can. But while highlighting the severity of this crisis, World Wildlife Fund stressed that the ocean is a renewable resource and that marine life can be restored if the human population would simply live within, quote, sustainable limits. That was bullshit. Yes, so they're calling for tripling the amount of uh, ocean area currently protected and among its other recommendations was a call for consumers and sellers of fish products to increasingly demand stock 
from companies that follow internationally recognized best practices. How about the best practice of getting our human asses out of the ocean and by making the consumer and lifestyle choice not to eat seafood, this, this kitchen pantry uh, 20 feet from where I'm having this rant. Well, it looks like a goddamn seafood market. If I want to see the reason why one half of uh, this planet's marine life has, has gone extinct in the last 40 years, I can walk 20 feet and open up the kitchen pantry door of these very nice, environmentally conscious, politically correct people in Santa Cruz County, California, where their cat eats tuna fish, salmon, mackerel, and clams, I believe. Anyway, getting back. Okay. A further a a further suggestion was that funds specifically allocated to restore marine life would be repaid with future profits from the fishing industry. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. The pace of, quote, the pace of change in the oceans tells us there is no time to waste, Lambertini said. These changes are happening in our lifetimes. We can and we must correct course now. Guys, kiss it goodbye. Just kiss the whole goddamn ocean goodbye. Kiss the whole goddamn planet goodbye. Kiss your eco Nazi good night. I've had enough of this goddamn shit. You know, I wonder why I'm sitting here sucking down these these goddamn margaritas. Anyway, I'll be back at it with my climate change meltdown roundup rant tomorrow. Go back to sleep now. Go back. Sleep. It's midnight. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep now. <laughs> Mm-hmm.